What's going on folks? What's going on? Once again, you have returned to this channel hosted by me, Jones, at Crazy Jones 681 Once again, it is time for you to feel the power of Jonesified. We're talking sports, big surprise. NFL season started last night. Yeah, it did. Football is back. Everyone is happy. Stop. Keep watching baseball. Just saying, because baseball is awesome. But I'm talking football today. We're talking football. We're talking the first game a little bit, and then we're going to hit a couple other topics up. We're talking about the Denver Broncos versus the Baltimore Ravens with Joe Flacco. I got paid so much money, and I got nobody to throw to. I'm Joe Flacco. Yeah, Joe Flacco, you suck. But I already knew that. The wrong guy has a ring, just saying. Matt Ryan's going to get there. But the Broncos slaughtered the Ravens because, well, like I said, they don't really have a whole lot of guys now that they signed Joe Flacco. I got to stop making that face. It looks terrible. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, Peyton Manning being Peyton Manning. Staying in the pocket, throwing the ball. I'm talking about you, read option, guys. I'm looking forward to you guys getting waffled. I'm going to run the ball. Oh, I'm dead. Well, not dead, but, you know, laid the fuck out would be funny. Anyway, uh, it was like 49, 27, something like that. 40 something. Yeah. Is it being? Uh, <clears throat> my cable was out, so I didn't get to watch the game, but I heard about a uh, Broncos guy making an interception and throwing the ball down before he crossed the end zone, doing a little dance like he scored a touchdown. That's pretty funny. If somebody knows the name of that dude, let me know, because that's, that's freaking hilarious. I love when guys do dumb stuff like that. But, of course, nothing beats the butt fumble. Just saying. Um, speaking of that, <clears throat> I heard the Jets sign Brady Quinn as a backup option. Wow. You guys just don't don't get it, I guess. I don't know. I feel bad. I got a friend that's a Jets fan. He's he's a little sad. Kind of like I have a friend that's a Raiders fan, and he's usually pretty sad too. So Teams go through these periods. Eventually, you get better, and it's okay. <clears throat> So, yeah. Let's see. What else is there to talk about? Uh, Falcons play the Saints in New Orleans on Sunday, 1 o'clock. Why we get shafted with a 1 o'clock game is anyone's guess. And, of course, on Sunday night, there's the primetime game, which is the Giants and the Cowboys. Of course, they love the NFC East. I don't give a crap about the NFC East, so whatevs. I don't I don't really even care. I'll watch it because it'll be on, but I don't really care. Uh, Jerry World, big obnoxious Jerry World, blah. And my other team, the Steelers, which I know Calamity will be watching, are playing the Titans. <laughs> if they don't win, I'll be really surprised. Just saying, Tennessee's not very good. But then again, I don't know what Pittsburgh's gonna be like. They never have a down year, so they might be all right. They just, I don't know. They'll have a running back that can run the ball because Jonathan Dwyer sucked. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this season. You know, go Falcons primarily. I'm going to charge into work on Sunday. Yeah, I have to work on Sunday. Wearing a jersey and a hat and all that good stuff. So that's a plus. I'm just rotating. NFL season is back, folks. I will probably do a better video later on with my gear on. I'm just wearing black today, so it's cool. What is another thing? Oh, I have a bet going with a guy. Uh, he told me Michael Vick is going to be a top five quarterback this season. <laughs> Might up the stakes on that bet a little bit, just, just saying. I think I'm going to win that one. It's like a $5 bet right now, but I could probably make it more. Um, and apparently Peter King of SI is predicting this is going to be the Seahawks and the Patriots in the Super Bowl. At least he didn't say 49ers. No offense to anybody who's a 49ers fan and is a diehard 49ers fan who always roots their team no matter how bad they are. I'm talking about the Mike Singletary era. If you, were, if you were still rooting for your team during that era, then you're a real fan. Because I have seen too many people who are on this bandwagon all of a sudden, oh, my 49ers, my 49ers. Yeah, you usually say my Cowboys. So it's just a bandwagon thing. It's terrible. No bandwagoning. No bandwagon. You're not allowed to bandwagon. It's bullshit. And that's all the time I have for you. Thank you for watching Jonesified NFL Edition. See ya. Peace.